Tableflow allows us to convert data to iceberg or Delta Lake format with just the click of a button. Our data is saved and continuously updated in iceberg or Delta Lake format, and there's nothing else we need to do. And here's our final data product. This is where real-time analytics gets really exciting. We're building a rolling 30-day customer activity snapshot that updates continuously. Every time a new order comes in, we're automatically recalculating each customer's total spending and order count for their last 30 days of activity. And when an order from 31 days ago falls off of that rolling window, those totals automatically adjust. There's no batch jobs, no overnight recalculations. Here we can see the results of the query and we can use this information to understand who our biggest customers are and what their spending patterns are. Once you drop data into your operational database, it's just a matter of creating the proper tables and voila. You add this information to your existing records, like adding their 30-day per purchase history and totals to your operational database. And that sort of reverse ETL it can be really, really powerful if done properly. The other way that you could make use of this data is to sync it to places where people want to query it. So let's hop over to Redshift now. I already showed you how easy it is to start using Tableflow with your existing Kafka topics to get that data into Iceberg or Delta Lake format. We did so in Iceberg today. Here we use the Redshift sync connector to land our continuously changing data in Redshift. So there they are. Both the product sales and the 30-day customer snapshot table are right there and they're ready to query. So if Redshift's your query engine 